Hey guys, we are here at the Oreo restaurant and we are with Chef Alex and Chef Alex Hello. is gonna teach us the proper way to cook a steak. The first step is to have a steak room temperature. So before you cook it, it needs to be put out of your uh, fridge mm -hmm. for about 30 to 45 minutes. It's gonna cook faster, it's gonna cook uh, better inside. Now when shopping for meat, is there something that you look for specifically for, to tell what's a good piece of meat, like a good steak? The, 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 the best thing when you look at the meat is the marbling. That's why my favorite cut of meat is the ribeye, because it's fatty, and that's where the flavor is. Now do you, do you uh, marinate Do you marinate it? No, just dry rub it, or just, what do you put on the steak? Salt, pepper. That's it, huh? That's it. Because you need, you want to, I mean, rub. that's that's me. After uh, people, they like, I know in America, you like to put the rub, you like to put some spice. But I just want to taste the steak. That's all I want to taste. I don't want to taste spices. So you season. Olive oil. Olive oil. It's just for the grill. If you grill it, it you avoid the steak to stick to the, so it's going to be easier to move it. We season the first side, and then you flip it. Do it again. That's a beautiful piece of meat right there, man. Beautiful. So now, when you have everything on it, we're gonna grill it. It gives a little char on the on the meat, and it's that's what you want for the flavor of the meat. How long do you keep it on the on the grill? One minute each uh, side. You purposely uh, grill or mark a meat very well mm -hmm. because you want to caramelize the protein of the meat. If you don't do it, if you just throw it like this in the oven, it's gonna get boiled, and there will no flavor. You want you want the. You want the, the, the grill. What's the, your heat? Is it on high? Oh yeah. It's on high. So now you flip it like this to have the diamond. When you do it, you have to do it right the first because that's gonna be your presentation. Uh, uh, When's the minute mark for that flip? How many minutes? Well, 45 uh, seconds. Right? 45, one, okay. 45 seconds. So the, the heat. Tell you, it depends. If you want it super charred, you can like go ahead like two or three minutes. So now. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. What is the perfect temperature for a steak? I know some people like it well done, some people for like me, it rare. it's medium rare. So it's just what people, what is recommended? I prefer it medium, medium rare. rare, rare to medium rare. You have blood. Yeah, absolutely. The blood is so important. It gives the juice, because if you don't have juice, it's dry, it doesn't have any flavor. So for me, it's medium rare. So now, now is this steak cooked? Is there another step? No, this is rare. This yeah, is red. Blue, even blue. Okay. Because uh, you leave it out for a while. So if you like it blue and you leave it out long enough, it's perfect. So how can you tell the temperature of the steak? So there's this trick that we learn. It's you get your finger, you close the thumb with the index. So that's uh -huh. MR, medium, well done. I don't oh, know if wow. you see so it's just, poke, it's just poking the meat. Yeah, just, you know, like you can tell, like, you know, like if you close this, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. So when you touch the meat, the right now you touch the meat, it's very loose, right? Oh, it's rare. It's very loose, so it's rare. Hey, Alex, see that? <laughs> so, Thanks, man. <laughs> Malcolm in the yeah. middle. Yeah, you used to do that when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna cook it about five, seven minutes to have a good amount. What's the temperature of the oven? Oh, now it's like 600. I'm salivating. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> he is excited. I'm, I'm fired up. As we're sitting here waiting for our steak, we're gonna try and figure out what is the right wine to eat. I guess to pair, is that the word? Pair, yeah. We're both not sophisticated, so we need help. But what would be the best wine to pair with our ribeye? Right. Evening, gentlemen. How are you tonight? How are you doing? Good. good. Very good. Thank you. So thank you for joining us here at Oriel. I'm Harley, the uh, sommelier, taking care of you tonight for wine. So uh, I understand you're having a great steak tonight. Yeah. So uh, what, are, what are you thinking? What would you like to what, drink with? What works best with a ribeye? Ribeye? That's Anything? what we need help with, to be honest with you. I, I only grew up with the guy's face on the jar, right. on the bottle. The, not the yeah. good stuff. Maybe a shot of tequila. Yeah. I slapped the bag. Like and, yeah. No. And we usually have beer. So, so. Yeah, which no, that's that's not bad. But you're in the the restaurant with the largest wine selection in Las Vegas right now, so I think I, I can find a nice bottle of wine for you to go with that. I've got something unique here at Oriel as well. Uh, we have wine angels that go get the wine. So I'm gonna get Soraya to uh, to go get the bottle for you, and I'll be right back. Okay, so gentlemen, what I selected is 2014 Frank Family Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. Thank you, Harley. Hey, thanks, buddy. Salute. Great choice. 
Et voilà, gentlemen. Wow. Thank you, Alex. So, you're welcome. What is that? 24. So this is the Béarnaise. 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 It's uh, like a Hollandaise, but with uh, shallot and tarragon. It's it's very good. So let me give you some. So you can tell that uh, this is the fat, the fat, the fat. I like fat, it. Very rare. I like it fat. Look at that. That that that. Really oh, cool. look at that. I bet the producers wish they could have some of this, huh? Uh, I'll tell you what. We'll save the bone for uh, John. Bon appétit, bien sûr. Thank you, very sir. Very much. Appreciate it, sir. Dude, this cutlery is unbelievable. Right, last time I was at your place, we had to use a butter knife to cut, cut the You know meat what? That we ordered. I'm getting better at my picks and, you know, I'll invest in better silverware. Mm. <laughs> this is, I'm not even joking. This is ridiculous. Unbelievable. We want to thank everybody here at Oreo and at Mandalay Bay. This is one of the best meals I've ever had. Thank you, Chef Alex, for cooking this steak. Harley, the sommelier, for, for pairing the wine. This is unbelievable. I, I, really, this is the best meal I've had in a long time. Is there really such a thing as a wine angel? Alex, if you believe, anything is possible. If you want to check out some more how-to segments, then go to the dgshow.com. That's D as in dice, G as in gambling, show.com.